Hey, welcome to Tales from the Flipside family. It's Ammon again from Haven for Heroes Comic Shop Talk. Here we are, we're going to talk about an FOC, a weekly FOC. And uh, we're going to go right through it. You're going to see it all on, uh, on here as I do it. So here we are at the Daily News front page. Uh, as you can see, this is the Diamond Retailer site. Um, I've blurred out or cut out um, our dealer number for our safety, but for everything else, you're going to see exactly the way it goes. Um, right here on the front page, last call. Titles with Monday, July 18th FOC dates. That's the date we're, we're here filming this today. You'll probably see this in five or six weeks from then, but here it is. So FOC weekly, uh, adjust weekly. So here's the first page. You're going to see it starts out with Dark Horse. You can see some of the books that we're getting. You have, uh, you can hover over the titles of the book. It'll open up the synopsis. It'll, you'll see a, a very tiny picture, obviously, of, um, of the book. But just give it a little click. Opens up. You can see all the um, synopsis of the book. You can see a better sizable picture of the cover. If you'd like to see a better picture of the cover, you just give that a click. And then it comes up even bigger. So all that right on the website. Super nice. Um, you can see what we're getting. Here's where we can make changes. Uh, this is a new company that was Dark Horse. And then there's Insidium. They're doing some uh, bands. They're uh, about like the characters for like some heavy metal bands. This is Disturbed Dark Messiah. Uh, we're getting two, but they have a, um, a five copy incentive. Now we can switch this to five and this to one. If like people had said to us, hey, we really want to get that disturbed book. Or there was a lot of noise about maybe this uh, disturbed uh, incentive is going to be worth a lot of money. And maybe then I'll, I'll, I'm willing to buy the extra five books. This is the last chance I have to do that. After Insidium, you just have IDW. They just go in alphabetical order. You click the next button right here, and you're on to the next grouping. So then you go, it has all the IDW books. These are the books that'll be coming out in about three weeks. Uh, this is the date of adjustment that we have. You can see straight through them. They all have this hover over quality. Now, sometimes, depends on the, the um, your connection, You'll get like where it won't, you won't be able to hover over it. You'll have to click on it and wait for it to come up. So there's after IDW, there's image, all the image books that you can change the orders to. You know, eight, eight billion genies second print is there. I'm only getting one copy. If somebody calls me before midnight tonight, I can add a book. Here's our stuff. King Spawn has been selling great for us. Here it is right here. We're getting uh, 15 copies of that. You can see the different, the two different covers. Maybe, maybe you like the B cover better than the A cover and you want to get 10 of one, five of the other. Image has got a lot of books you can go through. And then if you look further down, it'll show you by each company, how much we're spending with each company in books. And then it gives you the total retail value and we'll be paying about half that, about half that. Some of the, we don't get 50% on every single book, Dark Horse, uh, we don't get 50% off. We, there's just not enough books for us to buy from them to, to get a 50% off, so. But you see a big number there on Marvel. Yes, Marvel. We're gonna be buying our books through Diamond for Marvel again and I'm gonna take the percentage hit because to be honest, I really just hate the Random House website. Uh, they're at the way they do FOCs, the date they do FOCs on, um, the way they ship their books in multiple boxes, even though it's free shipping. Um, it's hard to understand what you're supposed to get. They don't send you an, or, uh, an order form of what you ordered. They send you packing lists of, in every box. So I don't know in totality what I ordered if I'm missing anything. There's no way to know because it's just what's in the, it's printed exactly what's in the box. So no, I'm never missing anything, but I'm always missing Marvel books. So 
yeah, I have a, have a problem with that. So I'm just gonna eat it and uh, move back over to uh, Diamond for Marvel books. Image has quite a few uh, pages because the, they produce a lot of books a month now. Uh, they're moving up. May, maybe they're gonna move into the number two spots, spot because uh, DC does seems to be just moving down the, down the rung. So here's uh, my Marvel books. You can tell I'm in a small market. I'm, I'm doing about four Spider-Man a week, uh, a month. And then some of the, you know, some of the free variants, I'll pick those up if I like the covers. Just go through all the Marvels. You can, again, look as we go right over, you can just hover over each one. It gives you a, a piece of the uh, synopsis. You can click on it again give you the more of the synopsis it also if if it's a ratio book I didn't go through this when we had a ratio book over there let me see if there's a there's a ratio I'm sure there, here in Marvel there's a ratio somewhere and I'll show you that of course I can't find one there it is so Fortnite Marvel zero um, for number four uh, the one in 25. So if you expand it, this little note at the bottom will tell you, you may order one variant for every 25 copies you purchase between the combined total of any Fortnite X Marvel Zero War number four covers, excluding ratio variants. So if you get uh, the one in 50, it doesn't count towards a one in 25. And the one in 25s, don't count towards the one in 50. That's what that means, basically. But they got a nice little uh, explanation in there for you. Um, sometimes you'll see uh, the letter P on there, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But here there's uh, item changes. They have a little um, warning thing there, so you can click on that, um, and it'll tell you in this pink box right here, product update, Retail Marvel Voices Community One, uh, retitled. Um, so that that's the change for that. Had you been expecting something else, um, that's the book. It tells you what it, that it was retitled. So those those little uh, warning labels are great uh, when doing your order because uh, you don't want to order the wrong book. Um, or if you had ordered the other book and it had cleaned you out, you, you want to make sure that you do order it. Uh, so you'll know which book is missing. Here's another change to the She-Hulk. And you can click right on the, the warning, the little triangle there, and it'll tell you. So this is now titled Volume 1, Jen Again. So this is a um, trade paperback. They changed it to uh, from just regular She-Hulk to She-Hulk uh, Volume 1, Gen Again. So let's see if we can't find a, a P on that. Basically, the P, when it shows up, you can click on it. It uh, means that it, it was a pick in the previews guide. Um, and they usually have one every month. I might have already passed them. There's been a lot of changes here. Now here, you know, this is some of the things that get like, so Vault, Scout, some of the other companies now are also being done through Lunar. And I've made the mistake of ordering on both websites. So that has become a job of keeping track of the different uh, companies that are, that are done on both distributors. Vault. Then some of these uh, lesser known imprints, American Mythology uh, it, publisher, they make some cool little books, man. There's one here coming out, Samurai, number one. So on Atlantic Press, An Antarctic Press, Atlantic Press. Um, you know, some fun little books that, uh, you know, if you have customers that are into particular stuff, might really work, work for you to buy. Of course, I'm not finding any of the previews, but you can just keep nexting through all of the stuff. I rarely buy any of the uh, DF or DE 
Dynamite or uh, Dynamite Entertainment or um, Dynamic Forces stuff. Um, some Action Lab, some Aftershock, Black Mask, it's a company I, I like. Oh, here we go. Here's the here's the P uh, right here, and it'll bring up go right here to previews preview. Um, so it gives you the whole synopsis, and you can download the preview and read it. So that's a great thing on here that they have that you can actually read the without having to go to a PDF. It's right here. You can download the PDF and read the whole thing, but you're able to go through the little synopsis of four pages and maybe decide through that or read the whole book. So we want to go back. So it takes us out. When you do that, it does take you out of your order form. So down here, where I'm doing next, I because I left the site and went back, um, I probably should have just accident would have took me back, but you can go directly to any page by hitting the number of the page you want and then just next and it'll take you right back there. So it's pretty simple. The functionality on this I love. It's one of the things I never complained about. Uh, Diamond was the functionality of their FOC and how flawlessly it worked. Now, if you know the item number, you can actually type the item number in there. I don't track item numbers, I don't know. But sometimes people will send you, um, hey, can I get this item number, blah, 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 because they looked it up on the previews world and they have the item number and they think that that's how you order. You can also type in the item description. You can type in, you can do the adjust date, the 18th or the 28th, the ex when the book's gonna expire date. Um, you can go by price. So you can, like all these different things, you can just do vendor name. So when I moved back over to doing Marvel through here, I just went right on here. The, the week that I was doing it, I went right to Marvel P, uh, PRH, which is Penguin Random House. And you click on that and it brings you right to your, to your, um, all your Marvel books and only your Marvel books and you're able to go through them. So you can do it vendor by vendor, which is really nice. Once you've finished your um, FOC, you just hit commit adjustment and boom, you're done. I got an error because you really have a time limit of how long you can be on there. And it says my, my adjustment may have uh, timed out. Of course, since I'm talking about it and showing each thing, it's taken a lot longer than it usually does to go through it. Um, but I didn't make any changes, so my originally saved one is still saved and it won't be a problem. Plus, at around 11.30 tonight, I'll be checking it again. <laughs> so, just in case, uh, I give my customers the chance all the way up, almost till midnight uh, when I do my final final. Then I usually take it right back to the Daily News front page. Um, I always check out special deals. Um, Looks like they have something new dropped on here today, which is pretty cool. They have diamonds in stock spot lot offers reduced net cost on select uh, Kotobaki. I murdered that name. I cannot say Japanese names, but it's a toy company. They make some cool toys. You can go right in there and it'll show you the different toys and the discounts. Right. And what's being sold for next? I'll be all over this tonight. So I'll be buying a lot of that. So that's a little bonus on the FOC is uh, you can always check out the daily deals. Um, you know, that's a reason to go to the Diamond website every every day because they do have Diamond, they do have that. They also have, oh, they have the new order section. So this is also, this is stuff that's just brand new to their website, usually toys, sometimes a few comics, like if they're second, third prints, uh, fourth prints, fifth prints sometimes show up in the new to order items uh, when the publishers su uh, surprise diamond on it. And before they can put it, before they put it in the FOC, they might put it in the, in the new to order section. So there's the diamond website. We're going to make sure that we blur out our, our number. I just had it on the screen there for a second. So just for our safety, so people aren't calling and ordering 
500 of a comic I can't pay for. But um, yeah, keep reading comics. Thanks for watching. And get us to a thousand views on any one of our videos. And the, the giveaways will uh, be triggered right away. And then for every thousand views, we're going to have a giveaway. Hey, uh, also check us out over at Haven for Heroes on our YouTube channel. Thanks. Thanks.